All right, so it's Ricky repairs back it again. This is after cleaning it, cleaning the surface. So what I'm gonna do next is spray it right here, with the primer, all this part right here. I'll spray here as well. Here. My spray right here. all right so before i hit the part with the primer this is what i'm going to clean it with the surface this is what was recommended at the shop at the paint shop i'll just go ahead and clean this and wait until it dries out so it's better primer so this is why i highly recommend this supposedly I already cleaned the surface so far I just hit this door show you real quick just the door right here let me show you the towel real quick as you can see it's still dirty so you want to get all that dirt debris out of the way first before you do your paint job as you can see right there so far I just cleaned this door right here all right, let's go ahead and get the breast. Let's flip this to the other side. Show you real quick. All right, so there you have it. As you can see, both sides are clean now. You can see how dirty that door is. All right, so this back door wasn't as dirty, but it was still dirty. Let me show you real quick. Actually, it was dirty. All right, so the last section we gotta get is back, back there, and the rear trunk, not the trunk, the rear bumper. I'm just gonna get that next. All right, so all I did is flip the towel, so I get a clean surface. So I'm gonna get the back there, as I said, and the rear bumper. All right, just gonna hit that next. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I'm doing right now. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. All I'm doing is going all around. So this is why it's good to get expert advice. Because the shop told me that I could use a, just water and soap and wash it off, which I did already. I went to a car wash. As you can see, it's still dirty, even though it looks clean, but it's not. So yeah, before you do the paint job, just go ahead and clean it with your solvent. All right, so I'm just gonna finish doing the rear bumper here. All right, so I just wanna show you the trunk. Not the trunk, the rear bumper. As you can see, it's dirty. All right, let's wait for it to dry completely. So we can spray our primer on the front doors. That'll be the next step. All right, so here's a Black Widow that we'll be using. Go ahead and open it with the keys, whatever you have. This is a bad boy we're gonna be using today. Here's where we put the paint. Alright, let's go to remove this. Alright, 
Okay, so go ahead and cover the places you don't want to get painted on. So first thing I'm going to do is put primer on this side. Put two coats on it. Give it about 15 minutes. First coat. Then this side right here. I'm also going to give a primer on here. All, all this right here. All right, so I'm just going to finish up covering the rest. So I'm going to paint this, the rear bumper as well. I'm just going to cover this place. All right, so here we go. I'm going to give it a first primer. So I'm gonna give it about 15 to 20 minutes so it could dry out. So we could give it a second coat. After that, wait another 15, 20 minutes so it could dry out, so we could sand it. And we'll give the first base coat. All right, now we just have to wait. All right, let's go ahead and give it the second coat for the primer. So we're gonna wait another 15, 20 minutes so we could send it. All right, so there you have it. The second coat after that, I just wipe it down with water. Now it's ready for paint. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so here we have the paint and we have this, which is a hardener and this one. The activator so I was told to use the measurement for this one 611 which means that I have to add six right here to the paint and then go to the next one it's gonna be this one seven add one more right here so it should be all the way up there with the activator and the hardener and our paint all right let's go ahead and get started all right, let's go ahead and add the paint. Let's 
cargar sex it's right there next thing to add is the activator Thing to add is the hardener. It's right there. I right, just go ahead and mix the paint. All right, so before you give your first coat, make sure you have a mask, a respirator mask. All right, let's go ahead and give our first coat. All right, let's go with the first coat. Here it is.
my sender right there. This when you don't know how to set your gun. This what happens. All right, so we're back at it again, guys. I just wanted to show you the results. This is what happens when the rookie does it for the first time. So yeah, it's no big problem. It's right there. Look at this part right here. So I was adjusting the gun a couple of times since I've never done it before. You can see the drops right there. What I did was put too much paint one place instead of just going once boy I give it a heavy coat instead of light alright so there you guys have it let's go to the rear trunk you can see Heavy paint right there. It's no problem. We'll just sand it. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys so you can see the results. I want to be transparent with you guys. The main thing is that adjust your gun. That's what overall I learned from this. Just adjusting your gun. What I like is the trunk right here. It's really clean. But yeah, that's the main thing. Just learn how to adjust your gun. That's it. And right there, no problem. We'll just sand it. Just gonna get rid of those drips right there. All right. So I kind of like it. So I might just paint the entire car now. As you can see it's two different colors. But first, I'm gonna polish it first. But now I'm just gonna paint the whole car. But yeah, that's the main thing. Just know how to adjust your gun. Just play with it. Alright, so there you guys have it. So yeah. After it dries for two days, I'll sand that part right there. Probably with the 600 grit. Or 800. So yeah, keep posted. These are the results. So yeah, I wanted to try something new. Yeah, that's overall, that's what I learned. Just learn how to adjust your gun. That's the main thing. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please don't, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. One last thing, before I let you guys go, the first coat is not as bad as this. You can see this right here. The first coat doesn't have this, so hopefully with the sanding, this will, disappear because of the drip that's why i adjusted my gun again and then the second coat this is what it gave us so yeah hopefully with the sanding we'll smooth that out